Hello everyone, my name is Nelson Cruz and I'm a product support specialist here at Autodesk. Now what I want to show you guys here very quickly is how to create dynamic chains and to have something, in this case a current, to, to move around realistically using dynamic curves um, and a mix of IK handles and uh, dynamic curves. So uh, first thing we have to do is obviously model out what our current is going to look like. For this example I'm just going to use one string and then at the end I'll bring out the rest. First thing I need to do is, on view here to make it easier for me, um, I need to create my skeleton and then I'm going to create a curve. So uh, I'm going to go to my F2 to go to my animation menu set and I'm going to bring up my joint tool and what I want to do is create a joint per, per mesh here, per object. So I'm going to start at the top here. Holding down the shift key will create a straight line on whichever axis you're clicking down on. In this case, we're going to create a straight line along our Y axis. And I'm just going to go through all of these. And quickly, th this you can get as detailed as you want. I mean, if, you, if you're not interested in having all these objects be part of the, the chain, you can make maybe multiply them, twos or threes. So not that, that, that my uh, skeleton's in place. I need to go in there and create a curve. Okay, this uh, curve is very, very important. And just like I did with the uh, skeleton, I'm going to go in there and create a point at every object. Now you might not see it as well in shaded mode, so you could always switch over to wireframe to get your result. And now we're ne ready to move on to the next step. So uh, next steps are, are key, very important. Uh, with your curve selected, what you need to do is go into your dynamics menu set. You can hit a 5 for it as well. And in your here menu, you have an option to make select the curves dynamic. In doing that, you'll notice that in the outliner, if you had it open, is a new hair system that gets built. Now what's important here is um, two things that we're going to look at later on, is the follicles and then the output curves. This is what we're going to create our IK handle out of. And let's actually move into that. So once again we need to move back into our animation menu set. And we're going to go into our IK spline handle tool. And we're going to click on that. If Actually we should go into the options here. Because what you want to do is if you hit reset here, you want to turn off the auto create and auto parent. Next thing we want to do is go select our root joint. And uh, Maya actually tells you what to do next when you're using this IK spline, the IK handle tool. Select the end of the joint. And next thing we need to do is actually select the curve. Now the curve is not the original one you created, but the hair system one. So we need to go to the output curve. You're going to have to hit control because you're now selecting something in the outliner. And you can see what happens is my IK handle gets built. Now that we have the IK handle, um, we will get some animation, but um, it's still not going to be true. So, but I'll show you guys what we have so far. Um, all I have to do is play this back with, and then uh, go in here and move it, and you can see what that looks like right now in the viewport. Obviously, what we still need to do is a few things. We need to bind the um, mesh to the skeleton. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to do that, we select our mesh. I've uh, preset up everything in a group here. I'm going to select that hierarchy and select the root of the joint here and go to my skin, bind skin, and I'm just going to apply some default uh, smooth bind. Now if we play this back, just like we did before, you can see now my mesh and uh, the skeleton are moving, just as we expected. The only thing that you may notice is the seems to be locked at the top and bottom, so only the centers are basically moving of this dynamic curve. So this is very easy to fix. Uh, let me just stop this. And once, like I mentioned earlier in the video, is if you go to your follicles and go to the attribute for that, you can st you can look at your point lock. Basically, um, the attribute here by default locks both ends. What you could do is do base or tip. Um, or no attach where it will just fall to the floor after you hit uh, play. So if we want to, we in this case we want to lock down our base to the top here. And now, if I play this back, you can see what that looks like. Perfect, just what we want. 
Now what I do have here is, um, go turn on my layer here, is a more completed curtain. So if I turn off my joints and curves, we can actually see what this looks like. So let's go in my perspective here, play this back. I'll just grab my collision cube here and you can see what that starts to look like. Just like so. So this is how very easily you can go in there um, and build a dynamic curve if you're look, do, looking at doing something like a kern or a chain or anything like that or ropes or wires hanging from, from a post. Okay, thank you.